Hello, I'm Kimberly. Welcome to Simply Living Small Town. I hope everybody's had a great week so far. I want to welcome any new uh, watchers as well as any returning watchers as well. I greatly appreciate every single one of you and thank you so much for being here. So today is Wednesday night. I knew that um, I apologize for getting this video out later but I knew I wasn't even going to get it done till later so I um, have been very swamped with some pretty big things to take care of and um, part of this is going <laughs> to part of this is going to continue for a while yet so I'm just um, going to have to work around things but uh, I had a court hearing today and so that was it was an emergency court hearing that I had to go to today so I knew that that was going to um, consume basically my day even though it was not a very long hearing so um, I will probably maybe talk more about that in a different video but um, needless to say that went very well I'm very pleased with the outcome and um, so I couldn't be you know more happy about that basically so it was a good thing it was not a bad thing today so <laughs> on that part um so for wednesday whips which is what this is video this video um i only brought one item up here and then i just realized i actually had a second item but it's okay it's okay you know so i did make some progress on my daughter's sweater i have the back pen, oh, my goodness, I can't even speak tonight either. I have the, <laughs> the back panel on my daughter's sweater completed. So I need to go back to that because I'd gotten the yarn on Sunday from Michaels for that to finish that out. Um, so I need to go back to that. Um, I really just honestly, I'm going to say, I have just been swamped with these bigger things. And whilst I have been crocheting to some degree, I have not been crocheting like I would like to be crocheting and like I want to be crocheting if that makes sense <laughs> because I've had to just seriously address some bigger issues that you know I, I actually had to take care of so um, the crochet has kind of went to the side and then it's just been a lot of emotion going on if you've been following along um, my daughter's dad had a stroke and that's been a huge a huge thing and due to that like that is I mean um, like changing all our family dynamics between my household and his household and it's just um, a lot right now so um, we're just you know gonna have like a lot of adjusting to do and things in regards to that the way things were before as far as in regards to my daughter is no longer um gonna be the same um from today forward so it's just a lot going on right now um but i do want to show you something really pretty and i just remembered I'm telling y'all, I'm so not prepared tonight. I just, I can't get myself together. Okay, so what I do have to show you, I cannot remember. I'm trying to think what the name of the tutorial was. That is, that is terrible. Okay, so the tutorial is from Angela at My Precious Yarnery. And it's one that she just came out with. I actually believe it's called Spring Wrap Tutorial. This I love, y'all. So when I saw that, I thought, yes, and I know exactly what I want to use for it. So <laughs> I have to kind of unwrap this. Now, this could kind of look like a blanket right now. But it, it's not a blanket. <laughs> I assure you, I'm not making a blanket. So this is, and I can't fit the whole thing. <laughs> Actually, well, maybe if I do it like that. 
but th this is half of it. So, cause I, ha I have this folded so in half and I will show you up close. That's, I don't, I mean, that's pretty accurate on the color as far as that part. I love these stitches. Like this just looks so, so pretty. I love how this is turning out. And so it's, it is a wrap. And now she just has it like, you know, like this all open. So what I'm kind of thinking I'm going to do, which we'll see. Oh my gosh, I sat on my yarn. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I'm not put together. Not at all tonight. Okay. Anyway, what I am thinking, because this is something I've been wanting to make. So what here's what I am thinking that I want to do, if I can get a hold of this. <laughs> I'm having all kind of problems. Well, <laughs> so I, what I'm thinking is that, like, I will stitch, now if you've watched Bag of Day Crochet, she has numerous, numerous, numerous tutorials on, like, wraps, and they're stitched up here, okay, like, like to the, on the shoulder here, you know, on one side or another, what? And then it, it, it drapes, like hangs down off of you. That is what I'm thinking of doing with this is stitching this up. <laughs> and I will have to see when it's done, y'all. I don't, who knows, okay? Uh, but that's, that is my plan anyway, okay? Is to have it like that. And then it would hang off. I can't really even get a hold of it. It's. It's not long enough. <laughs> okay. Kind of anyway and have it stitched up over here where it would hang off to the side. And then she has um, fringe on hers, which obviously you don't have to put fringe. You can or, you know, you may not want to. It's all up to you. I have not honestly decided if I want fringe or not, so I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue as to, whoops, as to whether I want to do fringe on it or not, but I think this is looking absolutely beautiful, and I just love, I love it, like the stitches, like I have not ever done this, so it's um the way you do it. So, first of all, I chained 200, and then, so after that, then you, um, in the first stitch, you put a extended single crochet, and then you skip a stitch. I'm trying to see if I'm saying this right. Okay, and then you put, in the next stitch, uh, extended single crochet okay wait let me back up a minute no excuse me the first stitch is an extended half double crochet then you skip a stitch then you do an extended single crochet and an extended half double crochet in that stitch and then you skip a stitch and then you just keep doing that then when you get to the end the last stitch will be the extended single crochet and then you chain one and turn and then you start again with the extended half double crochet skip a stitch and and so on so it's a what i'm saying is a very easy pattern her tutorials are wonderful i i love her tutorials i like i think she is such a really um great teacher like she does really good tutorials that are very easy to understand and learn from so so yeah, that's this is what I'm working on. Would you please stop, kitty? <laughs> I have a cat that just that wants to be annoying right now. So the one this one here that I am making is, and I have yarn all over the place here. <laughs> so it's it's this, which is this giant ball. This is now. Let's see if I can say this right now. 
It's Lion Brand Ice Cream Big Scoop Yarn. And then this is the colorway Tutti Fruity. And I think it is so pretty. It's like kind of pastel -y colors, like pinks, yellow, blues, um, and then white. And I just think this is so pretty. So it's um, the spring wrap. And I was thinking, again, when I saw that, I thought, oh my gosh, I know what yarn I have that's literally like perfect for this. Because these are like springy colors to me, like light and vibrant and what, you know, kind of springy colors. So I immediately thought of this, which was great because I had started to use this. I got this like 2023 sometime when I went yarn shopping at Michael's with my husband. So you can get this at Michael's and currently it's $11.99 because I looked it up. Which if you wanted to get it, it's $11.99, but there's a 40% off uh, they have a 40% off right now on an item. So you could use that and actually get 40% off of it. It's also 100% acrylic, a three weight, a light three weight, which is, I was going to show you that too here in a second. But it's 1117 yards. So a lot of yardage on these. They're, they're huge. I mean, these are even bigger than the... Um, Lion Brand Pounded Low, if you've seen those. So, if you look at this here, I don't know how well you can see, but see how thin that is. I meant to bring a skein, like a small, I was going to show you like a two-weight, because this, this looks to me, literally, I'm, I'm telling y'all, like a two. Because if you put this up against um, Lion Brand Pound of Love, which it's supposed to be a four, um, which actually is more like a three. But if you put that up against this, this is very thin, even at that, not comparison. And and the other one I was going to compare to was the Lion Brand Mandalas, if you're familiar with those, um, that are three weights as well. Again, this is, this, this here is way thinner than that. So... I, I'm fine with it, but just so y'all know if you if you actually want to get one or not. I love the color. I don't mind um I don't mind it like as far as working with it. Um it's gliding right through my hook and I, I haven't had a problem with it. So that's fine on that part. Um I'm not gonna complain. But oh my goodness allergies sorry uh, but I absolutely love see, see you might be able to see that a little better how that's turning out I just think this is so pretty and I have never made a wrap before um, or you know a shawl or anything like that yet so it's kind of something too that you know I've been itching to kind of do but again um, the reason I was thinking the whole thing with closing the um, like the shoulder sewing that up or whatnot I had a um I had a I guess I'll call it a wrap okay <laughs> that I had in my house before it burned down <clears throat> and it was just like you know about this wide probably I had fringe on it at the bottom and then it had the neckline open but it you know it was sewed in other words, you put it on and it was sewed shut and it would just drape off your... So this was this was my thinking with that is why. I, I thought, yeah, I love that and I missed it. And I thought, you know, I had been thinking about wanting to make something to not be identical to that or by any means or anything. But like, in other words, similar in style to that. So when I saw this pattern or her tutorial, I thought, wow, this could be this could be it. <laughs> this could be it because I've been itching to do this anyway. So, so yes, I love this. I think this is gorgeous. I think it's going to turn out gorgeous. It's two. Now you don't have to make it 200 stitches. If you don't want, you can make this shorter. Um, I mean, in, in length like that, or, um, also like 
So she has you do like 31 rows. I think I have, I'm on like row, I think 12, 13, something like that. Anyway, hers is not real long, but now you can make it obviously a lot way longer if you want or whatever. It's just whatever you choose to do. So um, I'm going to see what it looks like at like 31 rows. And I may just go on from there. Um, on that part is kind of what I'm thinking because I might, I, I think I might want it longer, but we'll just see, you know, um, how it goes and what it looks like when I get to that point. So I don't know yet, but I'm, I am thrilled with this. Now I did tell you about my daughter's sweater. So I'm, I, you know, again, I'm trying to finish that up yet too. So I have something else I started. I did not bring that up here because y'all that is a mess. So <laughs> One of the hanks that I got from Claire and Happy Mail a while back, which I'm still just, you know, in shock over that. I still can't believe that because um, it's just quite, quite amazing to say the least um, to be blessed like that. But so I took out some of this yarn, y'all, and it's, um, I think it's, anyway, it's 50% llama and I think the other is 50% wool or merino wool something. It's very soft, but it was the one that's like a um, plum color. And that's what I was trying to say in the video. I don't know why I kept saying lavender, but I meant a, a, a variation of purple, in other words. But it looks to be like a plum kind of a color. And it's beautiful. But, so I started. <laughs> I'm going to show you all this next week, I promise you. So I started a... I think it's called spring cardigan. It's cardigan, but I'm, I'm going to say from what I remember, it's, it's called spring or actually it might be summer cardigan actually. But again, it is another tutorial by Angela, my precious yarnery. That lady, I'm sorry y'all, but I'm not sorry. She is, she's amazing at cardigans and that. I just love, she has so many tutorials that I, that I have watched, but I still have yet to make, you know, um, like the cardigan or whatnot and from her tutorial so um i will get there and get some of the other ones done that but i currently have this one and then so i'm telling you about this one i'm i think it's called summer cardigan so anyway i started with one of those hanks of yarn well okay y'all i didn't wind it up or nothing like you know with a ball winder i did not cake it up i didn't <laughs> I didn't anything and it was okay at first. I did the first row. I'm actually on the second row currently, which is why I didn't bring it up here. It was actually part of why I didn't bring it up here. The second row is not finished yet. I love the, the actual pattern. It's really cool. But, and it's going to be beautiful when I get, like actually get it done. But, um, I got somewhat of a yarny mess with the hank of yarn. Just just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit so I have I gotta fix that so I have to fix that I have to fix that so I didn't want to um, show y'all that because it's, it's not very impressive the second row is not even completed <laughs> but it, it's okay it's literally okay um, I may actually frog both rows just to get it all um, you know balled up or whatever so it's fine. It's not a problem. Like, but it is the yarn is extremely soft and it is so, so beautiful. I am telling you that like, I am so excited to make this pattern with that specific yarn because it is just, I can already see it. It's going to be beautiful. So there will be that coming up next week up for sure on that. And then again, I have the yarn again, coming from Joanne tomorrow. So there's going to be, in other words, that, that I'll be able to work on a couple of things. I know at least one, um, two cocoon cardigans that I should be able to finish up. So, which maybe not by this Friday, but by next week. So we'll see. Um, but right now, you know, I just have to take it one day at a time. I, I've been looking at life that way for years now. I just, 
the only way that I can deal with um, some of the really heavier stuff when there's like so much of it like on top of you and on your shoulders it's extremely hard and so I've been doing this for years it's the only way that I can manage that is to just literally okay what's first like that day <laughs> let's deal with this stuff this day and then you know go forward but you just you can't try to um process and deal with every single thing in one day it's just not that's not possible so you just have to do the best you can and that's what I'm trying to do right now and I thank you so much for watching my video so 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 much so much much love to everybody I appreciate y'all so much I am very grateful and blessed that you're watching my video right now so I do appreciate you so that's going to conclude this one and I will see y'all tomorrow because I should have one or two videos out tomorrow. I'm going to get my butt in gear tomorrow so <laughs> and try to get caught back up with my week here. So much love to y'all. I'll see you. God bless.